Now that we're in the slide editor, let's get started with the top bar. All the way on the left, you'll have the ability to rename your playlist. Looking just to the right, you'll have this icon that toggles pixel mode. You're not likely to need this unless you're one of our legacy users. Clicking on the moon will toggle light and dark mode, and this changes the background color of the slide editor. This is purely cosmetic and won't make any changes to your physical sign. The zoom bar located right here will allow you to zoom in and out and gives a really good idea of what your sign looks like from far away. The undo and redo features allow you to undo any changes you make and redo them if you've changed your mind. This toggle grid feature right here will help you keep your images and text aligned and it will let you know when your text boxes are parallel or when your images are centered. This icon right next to it will open up a window to select a slide transition effect. This is very similar to PowerPoint or a photo montage where it will play a small animation between your slides. This small timer icon right here will allow you to manually tweak the slide duration of a single slide. This is great for when you have slides you wish to remain longer on your sign or a video that is longer than your default slide duration. This paint bucket here will allow you to select a color, either a solid color that will generate a hex code for you to reuse this throughout the website, or you can select a gradient. So let's make use of this copy feature by clicking copy and then I'll go here to gradient. To start editing your gradient, click on the square on the left and you can either select a color or paste in a color you've previously selected. Then you can add a color here on the right by choosing whichever color you wish. And then if you would like to add a third one, simply hover over this middle bar until your cursor turns into a plus sign and then give it a click. There, we can choose our third color. Now that we have all three of our colors chosen, we're able to tweak our gradient a little bit more. You can change the blend by holding and clicking on any of these squares to determine how much of each color you wish to see. This wheel down here will allow you to rotate the gradient and you can get a finer tuned rotation using the plus and minus signs here. Next to that we have our preview button which will expand the slide view window and will play the content exactly as it would appear on your display. Lastly we have the save button right here that will let you save your content to ScreenHub. After you've saved your playlist for the first time, if you try to exit out of the slide editor, it will give you a reminder to save your current progress. And that is going to be the top bar. Next, we can take a look at the slide window here. Giving that a click will show you the single slide you've currently created. The slide menu is great for adding more slides and rearranging them. To add a blank slide, simply scroll down here to the bottom and click on this plus sign. You'll notice that both of these slides have the same default slide duration. If you wish to replicate a slide you've already created, clicking on this small piece of paper here will allow you to either duplicate it to this current playlist or share it with another playlist or share it with another playlist created for the same sign. In the case of this, this is the starter, which is likely going to be the case when you first log into ScreenHub. You can change that. And when I click share to different playlists, this will allow me to select any other playlists that have been created for the same display. By holding and clicking, you can rearrange the order in which your slides appear on your sign. That's going to be the top bar. In the next video, we're going to take a look at all the content you can add using the sidebar here. For more information about ScreenHub and all of its features, be sure to check out our YouTube channel or the help section of v2.screenhub.com.